Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's February 9th, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. President Trump has won two thirds of election lawsuits on the merits. An analysis of all 81 cases shows about half have been dismissed on technicalities with the courts never considering the evidence. Among the 22 cases judged on the merits, Trump has won 15. That's two thirds, a majority. Contrary to the mainstream media narrative, he's lost all his lawsuits. In related news, the Supreme Court will finally consider multiple election lawsuits this month. At their February 19th conference, they'll discuss cases brought by President Trump, Sidney Powell, Lynn Wood, and Pennsylvania Congressman Mike Kelly, among others. All the lawsuits allege either election irregularities or violations of the law. The court will decide whether to accept the cases, and if so, they likely won't be heard until October. Parents are abandoning public schools for Catholic schools because of the lockdowns. Yesterday on Fox News, Ohio mom Brittany Goldsmith spoke on how pandemic restrictions forced her hand. We really, um, we didn't have a choice. It got to a point um, in the summer where all of the schools in this area that were public decided that they were gonna be 100% virtual learning. And we had simply run out of money to afford full-time daycare. Numbers show in Boston alone, more than 4,000 students have shifted from public schools to Catholic schools. Looking to the polls, public support for socialism is tanking in the U.S. A post-election survey recently released by Arizona Christian University shows only 32% of American adults prefer socialism. That's nine points lower than in 2018, when it stood at 41%. Even adults under 30 are less supportive with 48% approving of socialism in 2018 and only 43% supporting it after the 2020 election, a five point decrease. And on the red carpet, a new Hollywood film is devoted to highlighting the Eucharist. Spearheaded by a trio of Catholic producers, they're raising money to bring the documentary to the silver screen this year. Devoted to recounting Eucharistic miracles, the film builds on the life and legacy of blessed Carlo Acutis who built a website with the same aim. To donate to this project, click the link in the description. And the Pope is calling out countries that don't respect the unborn. Yesterday in his meeting with the diplomats to the Holy See, the pontiff specifically spoke of the need to protect life from conception in the womb until its natural end. Quote, it is painful, however, a growing number of legal systems in our world seem to be moving away from their inalienable duty to protect human life at every one of its phases. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Bishop Barron's lack of spiritual testosterone. God bless you.